Hey everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina back with another um, video just to show you quickly how I set up my Project Life um, supplies for 2013. I got these two carts uh, from Walmart. They're by Mainstays. They were $17 a piece and um, I really love them. They have wheels and they have nice deep drawers. Uh, the drawers are almost, I want to say, four or five inches deep. And it also has a nice little place on the top here. You can see I put little trays on the top. And that's where I store some of my smaller embellishments for Project Life. So, and these fit perfectly underneath my desk. So when I'm not working at Project Life, I just can just tuck them away underneath my desk and bring them out when I'm ready to work on it. So let me just show you what's in the drawers and then I'll show you um, what I used on the top to organize my, um, my carts. So in the bottom two drawers, I put my um, thickers. I had originally stuck these in about three different drawers um, of my Alex shelving units because some of the drawers were a little bit thinner, but this worked out great. So what I did was I didn't, I probably could fit them all in one drawer and not, um, and it would be perfectly uh, snug in there, but I wanted to be able to flip through them. So what I did was I just kind of separated them so that I can flip through the uh the thickers and I have them grouped by color so I have my browns and my greens and my blue or yeah blues my whites and my blacks and a little bit of gray in here too and then on the other side I have some the different colors like pink and blues and yellows and stuff like that so I put those in the bottom two drawers and these work out perfectly because I use thickers a lot for Project Life so those are what I keep in the bottom two drawers. So let me show you what I keep in the um, two drawers in the middle. Okay, so for the middle two drawers, what I did was is I have some of these little wire baskets back here that um, I picked up from the dollar store, and they're perfect for just when I'm working on Project Life. Um, I could just take out this basket and then stick in here my embellishments that I plan on using and set this right on top of my desk. I just threw some wood veneers that. Um, that Terry had cut for me and put them in here just so I have them right at hand. On the side here I stuck some of my larger Martha Stewart labels that I have um, some of them I planned on using for Project Life last year and never really got to use them because they were kind of like hidden so I have all of those. I have some uh, chalkboard paper and stuff like that and I just put those all in a binder ring and then they get tucked nicely right along the side here. When I was cleaning out some of my other drawers, I came across tons of these um, pearl shapes and bling pieces by uh, Queen and Company. Some of them I purchased for a dollar. Some of them I got, like these came from Simon Says Stamp when I placed an order as a free gift. So I put them all on a binder ring and stuck them right inside um, another one of these little baskets. These come for for a dollar at the dollar store and they're perfect for holding little things like this. Um, so I have those in there. And then on this side over here, I have all of my badges that I've been collecting that I need to really start using more of. So, uh, and some of these badges are from uh, Studio Calico Kits or October Afternoon um, and a couple of other like online Etsy stores. So that's what I keep my badges in. And then in that card over there, in the back, I have another white basket that has a whole bunch of larger journaling pieces from different various companies like October Afternoon and My Mind's Eye. And in the front there, I have some um, embellishments, embellishments that can be used even though they might be themed, like I have some Valentine's Day things in there. So even though they're themed, I can still use them for Project Life because, you know, if I want to do a lovey-dovey kind of layout or if I'm working on something like that, I can add those things in there. So, so that's what's in my two middle drawers of my carts. And the top drawer of one of my carts is where I keep all of my Project Life um, journaling cards, whether it be from Project Life kits or from um, collections like My Mind's, My Mind's Eye recently came out with um, a set called The Collectibles. And then I realized I have a whole bunch of simple stories that had I had liked the solid papers, but I bought the collection kits. So I still have all of those cards, and I never even occurred to me until recently when I was working on a Project Life page that I could be using those in my Project Life. So I have all of those. Again, I have four of these uh, little trays that I got at the dollar store. In the front here I have my grid, my blank grid Becky Higgins 
um, Project Life cards. And then these are all various from various kits. Some of my favorites I picked out and stuck in here. And this is from the Olive, uh, Olive Collection, which just came out this year. In the front, I have um, the some arrows and labels and stickers and stuff that came from older kits. And I also have stuck in here some extras of some uh, Martha Stewart pieces. So I have those tucked right in the front along with a couple more here. And then on the side here I have 4 by 6 cards. Some These are ones that came in some various kits like Simple Stories and the um, My Mind's Eye Collectibles. And then right back there is where I have some more of my 4x6s from the Project Life kits. In the top drawer of my second unit, I have purchased, um, well on the side here I actually stuck some of my October afternoon flyers. And these are ones that I can use for, you know, as a flag or as um, an embellishment somewhere else. So I just stuck those right along the side here. And then I have these trays. These trays came from Walmart. They were about $2.50, um, which is probably the cheapest I've ever seen clear trays available for. And my local Walmart had these in the like closet organization area. Um, anyway, what I did was I bought four of these and I stuck them so that there are two layers. So they're two layer deep and they just nestle right on top of each other nicely. And then if I want to get to my bottom layer, I could just move this one you know, one over and do the same thing on the other side. So for this tray, what I did was is I stuck, these are all October afternoon uh, pieces that came from some ephemera kits, and these are more October afternoon little, um, like, date things and little journaling pieces. And then here I stuck some pre-done paper tray ink embellishments that I had done um, last year for Project Life. So I stuck those in here so I make sure I use those up. In the bottom tray, I added... Um, Let's just get this out here. In the bottom tray, I added some, these are quotes, uh, little quote die cuts from various Studio Calico kits, along with some cuts that I did from my print and cut feature on my Silva Cameo. And then these are various pieces. Some of them are from um, My Mind's Eye, and some of them are from Studio Calico kits. In this section over here, I have um, a middle tray here. The middle one's empty. I stuck some of my um, Tim Holtz uh, ticket pieces and other various tickets in there. And then in here, I have some of these little uh, tabs that you that I got in some Studio Calico kits, along with other tabs that I got in a uh, Pink Paisley uh, kit that I purchased last year and used for Project Life last year, but I had some pieces left over, so I made sure that that went in there. And down in the bottom here, in the back, I have some vellum pieces. In the middle here are all circle pieces that can be used, and they're from various um, kits as well. And then just in the front here, if you can't see them, I just have some Ormolu fabric tags and a little envelope. So that's kind of a miscellaneous thing. And then tucked on the side, back there I have some paper tray ink um, embellishments that I also cut out last year. And then I have some of my paper doilies. So I have my round ones and my little heart-shaped ones stuck on the side. For the tops of my carts, what I did was I took two of these cases that normally you would use for beads and little embellishments and stuff like that. I took the tops off and they made perfect little trays that fit perfectly um, right on top of my carts. And I'm using those for smaller embellishments. Um, these are just some things I cut out from an old October afternoon kit. I have little tiny... Um, you know, clothespins, some fabric tags. I have smaller tags in the back. And then in the back, um, back on this tray, I even have some of my L Studio tags and stuff like that. So these are all smaller things that I want to be able to get to. And um, I have a whole bunch of blank ones that I plan on when I'm cutting out. Um, you know, I have one of my favorite punches, this little arrow. And when I plan to use this is when I'm going to cut a whole bunch of extras and stick them right in the top here so I have them in other colors. On my second tray what I have are these little trays that you would normally use like I bought them at Walmart in the party supply section and they're used like for if you're having a party and you want to do olives and different condiments and stuff like that you would actually use these trays and they're plastic and they were they're pretty nice um, sturdy plastic and they were only about two dollars and fifty cents as well 
And what I did with these is I took those and used those to sort my tags and stuff like that. So all of the things on the top here are all my tags. So I have my printed tags here and here. I have some shaped tags back here, um, larger tags in the back, and those back here are mostly all uh, Martha Stewart tags. And then I have my little uh, tonic arrow punch that I picked up at uh, Tuesday mornings a while back. And that all just sits right here on the top of my tray. So I will post a picture of my carts and how, how they fit nicely underneath my desk at the end of this video. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you next time. Bye!